I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he... Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Trying to establish that jab once again. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Anderson. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. I need you to pay attention. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get more active with Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Anderson's shot there is blocked. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that lead right will work. Nicely done there by Chor. Watch for that uppercut. She's looking to try to get that uppercut. Unable to connect there. And he landed the right hand there. 20 seconds to go in round one. Great punch. Choi gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, that oh, straight punch it. knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. All those things, all the conditioning we did in the gym, really proving itself. That is your key to victory. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. 
his opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, DC, second round is getting right. underway. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Let's get busy with those hands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, now he counters with an uppercut to the head, and it lands. Good job by Chor. Spinning back fist. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Straight right hand now just misses. Effective lead right hand there by Anderson. Good punch lands. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch from the clinch. Straight punch lands. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Anderson. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, connects with the one-two. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. 20 seconds left. Whoa! Knee to the body. What a fight so far. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice leg kick. Right hand on point. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, Whoa! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes. Whoa! Whoa! 
What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Choi's shot is blocked. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good punch. Leg kick. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Real quick leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Nice kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All those rounds on the pads in the gym paid off. Now we're going to continue. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Able to check that kick as well. Missed with that attempt. Nice counter shot there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whiffs on that offering. Try to establish that jab. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, big head kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Wow! Oh! Straight right hand, no good. Punches blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out. Oh, 
Strong punch there by Choi. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Anderson. Just misses with the straight right. Anderson gets the takedown here late in the round. It's a strategy to see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. the horn he got knocked down by a punch in that round but he is able to survive we'll see if they can make some adjustments he's as tough as they come he took that shot and he kept plodding forward he got off of his butt he got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these you don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is ready fight ready Fifth and final round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! What a fantastic... Whoa! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough and... Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish.